All right, guys, so what we have here is a diagram of the heart and the questions asking which blood vessel carries deoxygenated blood away from the heart to the lungs. So to do this, it'll be useful to know the route that blood takes in the heart and from there you can figure it out. So remember the left side and the right side are switched. So this is the right hand side of the heart and this is the left hand side of the heart. So let's think about what route the blood takes. It comes in through the vena cava, so that's A, into the right atrium, then down to the right ventricle and it comes out of the pulmonary artery. Then once it's gone to the lungs, it comes back through D, which is the pulmonary vein, into the left atrium, down the left ventricle, and this one gets pumped out of C, which is the aorta, and then it goes to the rest of the body. Now, what's the question asking? It's asking which blood vessel carries deoxygenated blood, so that's blood without oxygen in it, away from the heart, to the lungs. So away from the heart, that could either be the pulmonary artery, because the arrow is going away, or the aorta. Now you need to remember, where does each one go? The aorta goes to the rest of the body in order to give that oxygenated blood to all the cells in the body. Then it returns to the right-hand side of the heart, and when it gets pumped out of the right-hand side, it goes through the pulmonary artery to the lungs. That's where it gets reoxygenated. So out of the pulmonary artery, you have deoxygenated blood, which needs to get reoxygenated. That's why it goes to the lungs. So the answer here is B, the pulmonary artery. Now part B is talking about the natural resting heart rate. It's controlled by a group of cells that act as a pacemaker. This is just a memory question. It asks where in the heart are pacemaker cells found? This one, you just need to memorize. It's the right atrium. That's how you get two marks there.